Hey guys, it's Manny. Um, I passed the security specialty exam last week, so I wanted to kind of do the video before um, I got a lot. They got it got a lot further uh, than just a week and a half. So uh, I wanted to quickly go over the what you need to do, uh, especially here. You know, just quickly read over the exams. Uh, it is a harder exam. It is three hundred bucks. Uh, the practice exam is 40. Uh, it, you know, it's a specialty exam. And you, and you will see that it's a, it is a little bit more difficult than the associates uh, exams. So I would uh, suggest downloading the exam guide and downloading the sample questions. Here in the guide, uh, kind of just quickly read over it. You will have multiple response and multiple choice questions. Um, and take a look uh, here especially, right? And, and you will, you'll notice this in the practice questions. But... Uh, the exam is tricky, um, kind of try, I think when the most important thing in these exams, and if you've taken any AWS or any kind of other cert, um, is the wording, right? The wording is very tricky, so you should be able to quickly read over the question and quickly uh, make sure or cross out uh, a few of the answers just because you just know. You know, it's like, hey, you're having a DDoS attack, what can we use to, to stop it? And you see IAM or KMS, you're like, okay, well, obviously those are not gonna work. It's gonna be either WAF or uh, CloudFront or Shield, you know? So that's where that's where it comes in where you just, you just faster, right? And it makes you a lot faster and a lot better because that way you can just uh, move through the exam a lot, a lot easier. Um, then uh, here, as you can see in the domains, like incident responses, hey, you know, you your company is under attack, how do you solve it? How do we respond to this? Um, I think one of the instances, one of my EC2 instances is compromised. How do I make it safe again? I need to know what actually happened. Do I do I take a snapshot right away? Do do I just not? Do I just disable the uh, the subnet, the network, uh, the NACL? Do I just restrict the security group, you know, change the rules, uh, make, make sure that the outbound or the inbound is just canceled? Do I make changes in the last load balancer? What do you do, right? How do you solve it? Logging and monitoring, for example, like the incident response, right? You get compromised. How can you look up information? Who had access? CloudTrail, right? Right now you're thinking, okay, well, I need to monitor users that they don't use my the, my AWS resources in a, in a bad way. What do they have access to, right? And what are they doing? Are they canceling? Are they changing permissions of other users? Uh, what kind of access do they have right who did this uh, i need to find out who did this that's where the logging and monitoring uh come in right just like uh with infrastructure security you can see the vpc flow logs right uh what's going in what's going out intrusion detection systems right do you use your own do you have your ec2 instance do you use something from the aws marketplace how does that work and infrastructure security if you did the solutions architect or the sysops administrator exam you'll be able to kind of uh figure out a little bit easier, hey, how do, how does the, you know, how do VPCs talk to each other? How can I stop it? Um, should, uh, should I use WAF and web ACLs and rules to stop that? Uh, should I use uh, Shield? Should I use CloudFront? Uh, what about IAM permissions, right? Identity and access management. Who has access into what in my AWS organization? Um, and how do, how do these accounts talk to each other, right? Because you're not only, you're going to have an AWS account and maybe a lot of users under it, but you're probably going to have other AWS accounts, maybe one for developer team, one for the production team. They need to talk to each other, right? And you're, you're putting them on under one AWS organization. How are they talking to each other? What kind of permissions do they have? And then you start thinking about resource policies, right? Um, uh, SCPs, you need to start thinking about uh, user uh, IAM roles, right? Cross account permissions, you need a third account, third party to access to your account, but uh, okay, you create a role, what kind of permissions are you giving that role, that bucket? You know, does that, does only the role need the permissions or also the bucket? And what kind of permissions do the buck, does the bucket have? Do I need allow and deny? Now you have bucket ACLs, right, that are different from just the, the bucket uh, policy. So there's a lot of things that you can, you have to think about, and of course, data protection with encryption. KMS, there's a lot of different types of KMS that you have to go through. Um, and 
you just have to know when do I use um, AWS managed? When do I use a customer key? Um, a lot of stuff that you you will see, and I'll, I'll show you my notes in a bit just to just to clarify, kind of go on more, go into more details, right? Uh, here, just take the um, the sample exam questions, and that's really what it is, right? You want to fill your knowledge gaps as soon as possible and as best as possible, um, and I think. Uh, as you can see in this question, it's probably very likely that you will get questions like these in the exam. Okay, and uh, Wiz Labs, I I think Wiz Labs was probably one of the best. And you can see I've been trying to take the exam since like, well, I started right right away. I was like, hey, let me just take a practice exam and just go from there. So it's been a it's been a process. Um, and as you can see, let me see if this allows me. So you know, right off the bat, you know that gateways and VPC peering won't help with uh, traffic encryption and sure latency is kept to a minimum. But that right away pushes to Direct Connect and VPN because you just need traffic encryption because Direct Connect doesn't really, you're still traveling through the the, the public. Uh, it's not the public internet, but it's still not encrypted. So if you want traffic encryption, uh, those are the options, right? So that's, the Wiz Labs was really good. They have labs, they have online courses, you can use that. Uh, just to fill up knowledge gaps, right? There's someone else, Adrian's course uh, is very good at, uh, for example, identity providers or uh, SAML 2.0, uh, single sign-on, like those things that I didn't really understand or Active Directory, how do they work? How do they talk with on-premises? Um, what kind of permissions do we give them, etc.? He just solved all these questions that I had in my, in my mind and just made you uh, made me a lot more confident in taking the exam because I really understood the concepts of what was going on in the background as well okay um, and of course with infrastructure security um, as you saw in the in the exam uh, a lot of the networking and stuff he he does a really good job on, of explaining those I, I love going to this and I'll just like I can go through all the videos that I need to watch and he'll just have with a one video that's 10 15 minutes but he goes, he does a deep dive into the resource, into the service, and he explains it really well. Another thing that I enrolled into was the Tools Dojo, the practice exams. Really good stuff. Um, the If you had knowledge gaps left from with Labs, boom, this is it. This will help you, this kind of explain to you, hey, why is the question correct? Why is it not? Uh, I really encourage you guys to, um, to take these practice exams. There are, there's two modes, review mode and time mode. Um, review mode, of course, you go one by one and time mode is more like, hey, take it. Um, I didn't like the interface too much, but I mean, if you get it, you'll, you'll just figure it out. Um, and yeah, so I got the uh, certified security specialty. I was pretty happy that I got it um, without failing. Um, I did take a lot of the time that I was given. Um, and I took almost to the end to review all the all the questions. Uh, actually, a lot of the questions that I got were really long, so I, I got kind of scared. Um, oh, let me show you my, I think this is it. Okay. So, yeah, what's to review? Okay. Yeah, so usually uh, before my previous exams, I would like take more notes on every service and stuff. As you can see, like Solutions Architect, I, I really went super ham on all of these but i think as as we start learning what these do uh more in detail i think you you don't have to do all that anymore so for AWS security all i did was take notes on things that i didn't really understand i needed clarification and just made them here and i was like okay what do i need and of course here you'll see kms does a couple of things uh through the permissions that you'll need to know right or at least for me those knowledge gaps that i was taking the practice exams i was like i don't know what that means what that means so i need to figure it out right like aws kms key rotates every year in comparison to one that the the customer master key right that can rotate every year as long as they don't have imported material because if they have imported material that's a completely different story okay i am and then you see all these from all these uh different services just kind of notes um that i took that kind of stood out uh the certificate authority um I thought it was going to be a, a huge thing. Um, it wasn't for me, but I know I'm 100% sure it's in the pool. 
of possible questions that you will get. IAM policy is actually very important, I think, just because, I mean, I think 20% is just on, it literally says identity and access management. So if you don't know IAM and permissions across accounts, I mean, that's what security is all about, right? Uh, let's go back here. Yeah, yeah. So this is pretty much my notes um, that I took and just random. I didn't understand what this was. And to fill in the knowledge gap, okay. So that's what that was. And, and yeah, and that is it. So if you guys have any other questions or if you want me to clarify something, um, uh, just let me know. I'm more than happy. And if, if you want specific suggestions for uh, what to take, if you can only uh, afford one or you're just trying to be like, okay, I want to do one. I need to do it in a month, etc. Just let me know. Uh, I think my Twitter is somewhere there. If not, I'll just add my information down there. And you can reach, just reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to, to help you. All right. Have a good day and good luck studying for this uh, security specialty exam. Bye.